What's going on you guys? This is Gabe and Kayla and in this video we are making a ribeye steak for the first time in our new Mojave air fryer. I don't have very much experience with air fryers, but GoWise USA just sent us their Mojave air fryer dehydrator and it looks amazing. Something that I'm really excited about an air fryer is that they're so versatile and the things that I've heard about them is you can cook pretty much anything in them. With this one, they sent you these two different recipe books. This one's just specifically for the dehydrating stuff. Um, but this one are the different recipes and it's like a rotisserie chicken, pretty much anything, anything fried, any kind of grilled cheese sandwich, like all that stuff. Basically anything in here as well as desserts. But today we are going to be making some ribeye steaks and I'm super excited. <laughs> All right guys, today we're doing one of my favorite dishes, a juicy ribeye steak. And right here, I got all the ingredients. Uh, I like my ribeye steaks super, super simple, um, but everything I got here makes it super delicious. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to steaks, I'm like a grill guy. I, I like to cook my steaks on a cast iron skillet. So I'm kind of keeping my expectations open to how it's gonna cook in the air fryer. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the steak. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it out of a wrapper and this is a beautiful nice thick ribeye steak bone in and i love ribeye steaks just because they're nice and juicy they have that nice marbling they really absorb the seasoning most of the videos that i've seen um, on cooking a ribeye steak in an air fryer they're usually uh without the bones this is going to be interesting i want to see how the steak cooks in the air fryer, especially right around that bone area. It could um, be hard to cook. So let's go ahead and prep the steak. First, I'm gonna start out with gen generously seasoning it with salt. All right. Like I said, generously seasoning it, seasoning it. I really like the flavor of Time on my steak it's nice and earthy and adds a nice flavor and then same thing with rosemary those are kind of my one-two punch in terms of uh, herbs on my steak okay I'm gonna kind of press that in so it doesn't fall off a bit of rosemary follow it up with some thyme and next, another thing that really elevates the steak flavor is garlic. And I re really like the taste of uh, when the garlic is cooked with my steak. It just adds like a nice sort of crispiness and a, that nice garlic punch, if you uh, want to call it that. And I'm just going to put the garlic right on top of the steak. So the thing I like about the air fryer is you're not frying it in oil. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of sprinkle the steak with butter so it kind of melts into the steak while it's uh, in the air fryer there. I'm gonna spread it around. And then the last part, just a nice little touch I like to add on my steak is just cooking it. And I really like the taste of when garlic, and especially these big pieces, I'm a garlic fan, when it's cooked with the steak. Um, and it's there's just nothing like taking a bite of steak with a nice little chunk of cooked garlic on it. All right, so the ribeye steak is all prepped. I'm gonna put it on this mesh pan. Oh have to reapply those garlic pieces. All right, that looks delicious, and we will go ahead and put it in the air fryer. Kayla, go ahead and open that up for me. <laughs> All right, stay on there. So we're gonna put it right on the bottom rack. Oh, all right, I really hope this turns out. I cannot wait, I love ribeye steak. As you can tell, like Kayla said, this is a 17 quart capacity, so you can cook a ton of stuff in here. I think um, for the steak though, we you know we wanna get a nice even heat on it, so this is all we'll cook for now. But uh, maybe in future videos, we'll cook some other things in here, because there's a lot of room to feed a lot of people. Okay, so the steak is in here. Gabe got it already. It already smells really good with all those herbs. So I'm just gonna shut this. And I love this LED display screen. It makes it really simple and nice. So we turn it on. It already shows presets for things you can make like a whole chicken, fish, shrimp, steak, french fries. I mean, that's a good preset. So I'm just gonna push steak. I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna push this because this is air fry. So it says 25 minutes. Does that sound right? Uh, 
try it. Okay. Cool. So we'll probably stop it halfway through and flip it or um, just keep an eye on it. And if we feel like it's cooking good, we'll be shorter. I don't know. We've never done it before. So <laughs> we'll check back in. I feel like I should be doing something with my hands. Like usually if I'm cooking a steak on like a cast iron skillet, like I'm flipping it or I'm poking it and kind of messing with it. Sometimes I'm basting it. So that's going to be my biggest like question mark is, you know, without how juicy is it going to be without the basting process? So we'll see. Light button. And it, see how your steak is cooking. I can't believe how fast it's cooking. It's only been in here for four minutes and it looks like the top is already seared. Uh, we kind of like our steak medium rare, so I feel like we're gonna flip it soon. One of the features that I really like about this one is that when you open it up, it doesn't stop your time. Like some of them will stop your time, but this one, it saves your time. Um, but if you do want to stop, you just push the power button so you can kind of keep checking on it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's our first air fryer. Pulled a little bit too hard. Yeah. Wow, that that almost looks done. I don't feel like it needs that much more cooking. Yeah, and that I was feel like, like a little more sear. Maybe. That was like six minutes. So I'm going to flip it now. I'm just going to take these little pieces of garlic off that Gabe so carefully put over here. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell really good. Just like flip it like that. Yep, yeah, that definitely does not need that much more time to cook. Put these little babies back on there. Gotta have the garlic. That's gonna taste so good. So I'm gonna close it back up and it should start right back where it left off, so. Let's see if it does. That yeah, is nice. It's pretty nice. Perfect. All right, guys, the steak looks ready to me. I really don't want to overcook it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out and let it rest. It smells delicious, though. Holy! Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Garlic, all that fat is nice and rendered there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide it right on the plate. Ooh, nice and easy. Man, that's a heavy steak. I know. Woo -hoo. Okay. Okay. So let me just let me just say something here. That garlic looks perfect. It's just how I like it. It's ni nice and kind of charred. The steak looks pretty well cooked. Um, it looks nice and juicy. Yeah, feels like it could be a nice medium rare or something like that. Maybe medium. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna let it rest and cook for a little bit longer, and then we'll cut into it and see what the results are. All right guys, this is the moment we've been waiting for. The steak smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it and see what the cook was like. Let's go ahead and brush off the garlic here. Save those babies for later. They seriously taste like candy when you eat them. So how I'm gonna cut this steak is I'm gonna kind of cut the outside because Kayla doesn't really like the fatty part even though I think that's the best part. So we'll go ahead and cut the outside. Oh, it is tender. It is just falling apart. Oh man. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the steak. Oh. Yeah, that looks perfect. I know, oh wow, look at that. That is perfectly cooked right there. I wanna bite into this, but I'm gonna wait for you because I'm a good husband, I hope. Okay. I cut it, it looks like it's a nice medium rare, just how we like it. And we put it, it, this honestly only took maybe like 15 minutes to cook. From start to finish. Yeah. And this is a really big steak. I right. feel like if you had a, a regular sirloin, mm -hmm. it would take maybe like 10, 12 minutes. Right, right, yeah. So let's go ahead and try it out, Kayla. I will go ahead and give you the first bite. Which bite do you want? Um, the best one. The best one, okay. <laughs> Whew, that is, hold on, let me, let me just show, let me just show the people. Look at that.
cook. Oh, that, it's like cooked evenly. It's cooked all the way through. A big thing about grilling or, you know, cooking on the stove top is you gotta worry about it cooking evenly, but that is evenly cooked throughout the whole it thing. Is. So it looks really good. Okay, go ahead and try it. This whole thing? Yep. What is it? Was the piece too big or? Mm -mm. Go ahead and finish chewing. Is, that, is it that good? Okay. First of all, the flavors that you put on there. I, I love those flavors. Yeah. It's really basic, good, yeah. perfect. Um, that's perfect. That's a perfect steak. Yeah. I can't, I don't even, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have words. Like that is really, really good. It's, it's really tender. I feel like sometimes you get like, you know, when you do cook it on a grill, you get some char where it's like right. some parts of it are kind of burnt, but this is, like you said, really evenly cooked and the entire thing looks really good. Right, I'm gonna try it now, okay. Nice, got a little bit of the fat. Um, Go for and then it. a nice tender part of the steak. That is literally, guys, melt in your mouth. Like, I barely had to chew that, and it like disintegrated in my mouth. This is like top, top, top restaurant quality. Like, I, I feel like I'm cheating on my barbecue, eating the steak from the air fryer. Like, wow. Kelly, you have to try it with the garlic. Okay, I have a little there. garlic piece on there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Whew, that looks amazing. Okay, go ahead. All right. With the garlic, right? Yeah. It's delicious. I love garlic. And can you feed me a bite? Big piece of garlic there. There we okay. go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me see. Hold on. Let me zoom into that. Let me zoom on that. In on that texture there. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. So good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our steak. But I feel like a lot of you are wondering, what is the cleaning process? Is it hard to clean? I'm gonna show you. Open this. I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take this. I'll put it in the dishwasher. And I'm done. Ta da! <laughs> All right, guys. Overall, I honestly don't know if I can go back to cooking a steak on the skillet after trying this air fryer. So. As long as I have access to this air fryer, I'll probably cook all my steaks on this from now on. When Gabe cooks on a cast iron on the stove, in the oven, he like moves it from the stove to the oven and it creates like an oil mess all yeah. over the oven, all over right. the stove, and it's a pretty big cleaning process. But all you have to do is clean what's inside of here and I feel like that's the biggest perk for me. Like right. you can just sit, uh, sit down and enjoy your dinner, I love yeah. that. Go ahead and leave in the comments below what else you would like to see us cook in the air fryer over here. And I'm gonna put a link down below to the Mojave Go Wise USA air fryer and dehydrator. Um, Go Wise dehydrator? <laughs> dehydrator. <laughs> We've really enjoyed it and I feel like this is a really good quality air fryer, so go check that out. Oh, and don't forget to like this video. And subscribe, we'll see you next time. Bye.